Whoa, whoa, no, whoa, whoa. That's too fast, MJ. I couldn't handle the speed. <laughs> <laughs> Unreal Engine. Hello, hello, guys. Wait, I am. I do have the right title for the stream, right? I'm pretty sure I do. Yeah, I do. I do. I do. I do. I do believe in fairies. What? Hey, MJ. Hello, everyone. If there's even anyone here. Because in my experience, YouTube, I don't really get that much audience. That's why I like Robert, streaming on Billy Billy. I'm, like, I'm like the one viewer. Yeah. <laughs> but I gotta add people here. People, add people. Adding people. Peeps. I'm adding peeps. There you go. There's Scared Flyer. But hey, the best part is, since I'm not commenting on YouTube, it doesn't take two years for you to read. <laughs> yeah, comments. indeed, indeed, indeed. Indeed. So yeah, concurrent viewers, zero. <laughs> because you're not viewing on YouTube anymore. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> no, it's fine. Usually, viewers only just come in later in the stream anyway. Just like, you know, how it usually happens, you know. But let me share my stream everywhere everywhere else. Just so... Uh, yeah. Yeah. Just so we, maybe others will join in, you know. Oh, why is the first thing that the game asks me is if, if it wants me to play with my left hand or right hand? <laughs> well, at least it's being, it's asking that. Games usually are more right hand compatible. <laughs> right hand compatible. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. So I'm actually planning to stream on YouTube every th Tuesdays and Thursdays now because that's also my schedule for like working on TUP stuff. Should you should stream like the last part of God of War on YouTube just so no one else can? Nah, can <laughs> I can't do that. There are other people who are actually watching. I got to about sixty, about seventy views on Billy Billy this morning. Oh, interesting. Hello, one Hi. viewer. How are you? I'm here with Scared Flyer right now. I'm just waiting for uh, probably more viewers to come in. And yeah, this okay. time, Feel it. I do have this guy talking here, you know, my avatar. If you didn't know, MJ is playing then again, Blender that's... on rookie difficulty. <laughs> yes, I'm playing Blender on rookie difficulty right now, but I, I can definitely <laughs> change it to the hardest difficulty in a few parts because our first part is going to be rookie difficulty we're still planning things and we are we have here a resident bat expert scared flyer to help us along the way on the designs of the bats expert oh, oh hey no. <laughs> someone's actually here hello hello amy nazura welcome to the stream i am going to be starting the stream here in a blender now because we're just going to be modeling a bat and I'm gonna be spilling some beans on the Underland project regarding the bats, cause I don't know. I'm I'm not sure if you're gonna be liking these ideas, Scary Flyer, but you'll see soon enough. I have some really cool ideas. I think about how to do the bats. Oh yeah, sorry, I was half listening to that. I still got to put frosting on a cake. So you say I wasn't gonna like it, or, or I'm going? You're like probably it. <laughs> gonna like it. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. But for now, I guess since uh. We're already here. Let's get started. Hit the intro! Hello everyone, my name is MJ Vilches, and I am joined here by uh, our resident bat expert, Scary Flyer, because we are going to be working on the bats for the Underland project. So, <laughs> yeah, without further ado, let's get into it. I am going to go and open the 2d animation workspace in blender actually because we're going to be doing some concept and stuff and some of the ideas that i have for uh the bat because i am planning to create a bat character maker and i want to be able to uh prepare the assets that's going to be coming out of this uh easily and I'll easily export them from blender to 
Unreal, etc. But for uh, the Underland Project Episode 2, I'm just going to focus more on the Blender character maker as a, instead of the, uh, the one on Unreal. Because the Unreal one is for Episode 3. So yeah. Now... Wow. We are here in it's a tree animation. It's revolutionary. A white canvas. <laughs> yes. Very. <laughs> very awesome, isn't it? Anyways. I'm not sure how the chat looks like on the, on YouTube, actually. I don't know. I can no longer see it. I, I can show you. I mean, I can easily I've, do something like this. No, and no, then... I've evolved. I and then, go back, MJ. And then I'm gonna get rid of the back. stream right here <laughs> no, and do that. Back. And now no. you can see what the others are seeing on the stream. Anyways, we're here in 2D animation workspace. So, first part when modeling something, anything, especially something as big as a character that you're gonna be using for animation and other things, you always have to start with a plan. Start with a sketch. There is no plan. There is Just a plan. Just use your jaw with your eyes closed and hope for the best. <laughs> In the events that they're, they're, the plan don't work, we only have two choices. We either fight or flee. Fight? What are you, what are you fighting the draw? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you even know where that came from? Which book? Maybe. Which book? So, for the bats. Yeah. In the past, I have drawn the bats, actually, and uh, I do have yeah, some artworks of bats that I already drawn in the past. So, yeah, I'm going to show you guys those artworks right now, uh, current maybe, final artworks JPEG. So the bat of a heart attack right before you show. Uh, it. <laughs> I'm probably not gonna show the one that spoils too much. Um, I'm pretty sure these are the bat models. One of the bat models. This is the early bat models that I did. I mean bat bat drawings or bat designs. Uh, there's Aries and Aurora, and they're yeah they're this is a, this is like the an older version of a design, and there's definitely gonna be oh, some boy. changes for the for what's gonna come out for the final one. So that's one, and the other bat drawings that I did is this one. There's Aurora and Luxa and everyone else doing the coiler. I want to redo this in 3D. Ooh, I have Hello, one Ishii. request. <laughs> Hello, Ishii. Wait, can I actually... Wait, uh, there you go. I'm going to add you as moderator, Ishii. <laughs> there you go. There you go. And also, I actually... I should actually subscribe to you as well. <laughs> hey, MJ, have one request before we continue. I am unmuted, right? Can you guys hear me? Yeah. Ishii, can you... Can, is everything fine in the, in the stream? Can we be heard? No. I just made you moderator. It's too late. You can't say no. <laughs> you can't say no anymore. Hey, I'll take I'll take that spot. <laughs> because you are Ishi. The odd the admin goddess. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, let's go. MJ, can you switch the stream back into the other mode? Why? The the way this this desktop mode already crashed my stream three times oh really wow yeah <laughs> wow that must be so powerful then the power <laughs> so powerful anyways uh more bad drawings more bad artworks uh I'm, one of the other artworks i did is an animation i think uh the one where you know scared flyer voiced oh mutant if you play that <laughs> And you guys, you can't even hear it. Thank God for that. You can't hear it from Discord because Discord doesn't have sound when you share the screen. Oh yeah, I forgot. Thank goodness for that. Saving me from a heart attack. Uh, where it is? Uh, where is it? I mean, it's not on pictures. It's gotta be on the Underland Project. Render 
Blender or uh, social posts, I think. Ah, there it is, a bond. So this is, an, uh, this is also probably the closest one that I'm gonna be working on. This is probably I the closest to the know. idea that I have. I swear to you, I did not know. Hey, that don't look like a crab. Hey, we're not drawing. We're not using doing <laughs> crab here. We're doing bat. Anyways, <laughs> let's go. Uh, the design for the bats. So first, I'm gonna like roughly draw a bat here that's landed. I'm kind of thinking about a bat just sitting down, kind of like an arc when you park a bat. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> I'm gonna try to draw something like that here. So there's the head of the bat, the body of the bat, and now what's difficult is how I'm going to draw. I'm gonna have to go back and look at some reference here, Scared Flyer. You did make an art a render here of the arc bat. Now, where did you send it again? Oh, well. oh no. The cake indented. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's in 3D artworks. But you can... Yeah, it's somewhere in there. <laughs> Let me just scroll up, scroll up. I'm looking at Discord right now. Me unintentionally becoming useful. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go open this one because I'm gonna show it to you guys. So this is the bat. From Ark. And my bat design is kind of close to this, but not. And you're going to be seeing oh, man, it could've... soon enough. <laughs> I could have rendered that way better. Yeah, except you don't have your laptop or your PC. Yeah. Because the PC <laughs> was sold by a friend. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of want to give <laughs> the bats legs, actually, like an Ark. Because that's probably, like, you know, they're evolved. So they should have legs like that. <laughs> or we could go the usual bat anatomy where... The usual bat anatomy where, of course, they don't really have, like, legs that goes like this. They usually have legs that go, but we're going to explore different concepts. I'm just going to go and create this basic shape here for, as we plan for the bat, as we try to make some concepts so that we are going to make it, make our heads not too scrambled when we do this thing. I'm also going to have to open up some bat references actually. Oh yeah, and I have to save. There's Ishii by the way, Ishii's avatar right there. With a band hammer behind her back, which indicates the fact that she is an admin or a moderator, and she can probably ban people as well here in YouTube. I think I don't know, but we'll see. Anyways, uh, need to save it in TUP Phase Two Blender Projects Characters Main. Actually, I'm probably gonna go with bats here. Or flyers, maybe. Flyers. Let's make it regalia. I mean, let's make it Underland Chronicles up appropriate. Bat design. Bat design. How are you guys? I have four concurrent viewers. That's nice. Hello, guys. Feel free to uh, share your thoughts in the chat if you want. Uh, yeah. I actually need to install a program here that I use for concept, uh, for uh, using references. I'm pretty sure I downloaded it already. Uh, where is it? Where are you? Where are you? It should be here somewhere. Oh, where's that installer? I'm pretty sure I installed it already. I just didn't. I mean, I'm pretty sure I downloaded it, but didn't install it yet. Mm, brain! Come on, find it, Brain! It's here, Brain! Come on! I know you got a lot of files downloaded here. Ah, there it is. 
There we go. Uh, cut that. I'm gonna put that in documents. And this is actually a nice app. It's called Pure Ref. It's a nice app where you can actually arrange images. And uh, let me just go and extract this here. Extract a Pure Ref. Delete that. And then we use this. And I'm probably going to just pin this to start. Pin to start. Pin to start. And then we go to start. It should be here now. Open Pure Ref. Uh, enable auto saving. Embed local images and save file. Enable auto saving. Fine. Do that. Done. Okay, so Pure Ref is actually just this. And we're, we can populate this with different uh, images soon. And Scared Flyer did provide us a bunch of uh, references for the bat. So we're going to just grab all of those references for now. Just so we can see. Yeah, I'm going to grab. I also dropped some, a bunch of references as well, actually. Which I will have to download again. Or do I have some on the downloads already? I'm pretty sure I do. So I'm just gonna go drop some bat images here. Where's the other bats? Come on. Ah, there. Um, how do I make this bigger again? Ah, there we go. So I'm just gonna arrange the bats here, the bat images that I collected over time as I prepared myself for this endeavor so for designing th stuff of course references always helps so I'm just gonna arrange these pictures here uh, uh, <laughs> you've been preparing for these references while I spam them every day <laughs> yeah Wait, wait, wait. I think I want to just download the ones that I actually put here because it's already cropped. And also, I'm going to download the stuff that you did say send. Let's see. Um, Discord. Yeah, I want that reference for the claw right there. Oh crap, really? Bat. Bat, bat, come under my hat. I give you a slice of bacon. And if you eat no, cake. I know that. <laughs> I could be mistaken. Save images. Save image. There's actually some images that I don't understand, Scared of Flyers. If I'm going to be honest with you here. Especially the part with the wing. But that's something that we're probably going to be dealing with when we are modeling. Actually, 3D modeling. Because figuring what stuff are connected is definitely essential. And I need more references for bat folding their wings as well. Okay, how about the ones that you send in design slash concept? Okay, there we go. I'm just collecting some images for references here that we, well, Scared Flyer did send some of these. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, the bat is cute. Brings a bunch of diseases, though, probably. I don't know. <laughs> mm, not really. Okay, bad expert. What what, what do you have to say about that fact? I have just 1% of them actually have rabies. <laughs> but what made them so popular with spreading diseases? Well, okay, that I don't know. <laughs> okay, there's. I think there's a button that makes this... Easy to uh, uh, window resize to. Can I select everything? 
Window resize to selection. There we go. Ooh. Oh, I did not select that other one right there, really. Okay, let me just move that because I'm putting a bunch of other bats here. Which ones did I not put yet? This one right there. So we're, oh, I already did that. This is a bunch of sh sick bats too, like rescued bats. <laughs> I ended up saving some <laughs> rescued bats here with some old bats as well. So I'm just going to put that, all of that right there. And there's one particular bat here with that claw right there. That would be very helpful. There we go. And we're gonna continue drawing here. So I can actually go and do this mode, uh, always on top mode, which can be annoying sometimes, but it should be fine, I hope. No. Wait, how do I? I need a <laughs> scroll button. So I want to do this like this because it's easier to easier to arrange the images. You know, you don't have to go and edit on a video editing pro. I mean, a photo editing program like you, know, you don't need to edit anything. You can just arrange them like this and use that. Let me just go with something like this. There you go. And I can do. Oh crap! That's gonna be really confusing for me. <laughs> This is going to be a bit of a struggle. But I want to look at this. Actually, I also sh should be including... Why would you mention me on games chat? Oh, wait. I, forgot. I didn't send. Wait. What? Why? What is this? Please inform me that you have been accepted. At what? Wait. Is that you right now? You actually have the game? Whoa! Scareflyer has Hogwarts Legacy. Bro, early access, bro. Hope all. I'm Jelly. I'm Jelly. I'm Envy. <laughs> this bro, is so I'll envious. Know if the game's actually good. I'll let you know if the game's actually good or not. <laughs> I don't even care if it's good or not. I just want to enter that world. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let's not get distracted. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You're right, you're right, you're right. Still, though. Do you really think I'd actually spend $70 on DLC? <laughs> of course, that was a lie. Of course, the lie was strong with this one. The lie was strong with this one. He actually wasn't... Sp he actually... He said he spent... Like seventy dollars on a Destiny Two DLC. <laughs> Apparently, he just bought the Hogwarts Legacy. You do have other other photos here of the of the bat. You rendered it, like the Ark Bat. Did I? I don't remember. Or is it? It's been a while. You sent something. I remember you sending a bat just sitting by itself. Oh, yeah, I did. I did. I just, I don't know. Oh, man. Somewhere. Are we going to end up opening Ark right now? <laughs> no, no, no. Let me see if I can find it. Might be easier for me. Because, yeah, I need the bat from Ark. Because, yeah, that one is going to be a great reference for what we're trying to do here. Let's see if we can find a bat sitting down. Anyways, let's see then. Let's go and model the bat. So just a basic shape for now, for the design. I'm not really going to be too meticulous about this part because I just want to show... I'm going to use this as a kind of base. Actually, we probably have to be meticulous so that our base is not too ridiculous. 
I kind of need inspiration. I'm I'm pretty sure I saved some videos here that we can watch for uh, my references. Uh, mode. Uncheck that. I'm gonna go and open up a playlist that I made of different different references. It's not agree. Sorry, Mr. Krabs, I can't help you with this. Mr. Krabs? I was about... I can't. I'm currently designing... a bat. And my time is limited. Sorry, Mr. Krabs. Can't help you. Mr. Krabs be act asking help on something that's completely not our top, like really out of topic right now. So yeah, if maybe maybe he can ask, he can tell me what the problem is, and I can probably help him with that. But uh, yeah. We'd be straying too much again, and when we we all we know what happens when we do that. When we stray too much from the path, we get distracted enough already as it is. <laughs> We're not gonna end up doing any bats in the end and just doing other things. Ooh, I sent another reference for no reason. <laughs> uh, where are my ref? I I did save a reference for a bat here. Uh, where's my reference playlist? I need it. I need my reference playlist. What is this? Did you send it on the uh? Why did you send it there? I told you to stop sending stuff there. What do you mean? Wait, that's the wrong one. <laughs> you, you're supposed to send it on call up forum. The new stuff there. I did send it in the column form. What are you talking about? Oh, you did. Oopsie, I thought it was a MJ. chat to you. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oopsie! Come on, reference. Re I'm gonna control F since I can do that here. Not in Discord, please. Reference. Ah, there we go. There's our playlist of reference. And of course, I did not save the bat bat on floor i'm pretty sure we'll find something here that shows a bat crawling across my porch ah this would be it this would be a great reference ah but if you pause look how blurry it gets it looks so clear when you're watching it without pausing. But when you pause, it gets so blurry. <laughs> ah, dang it. Oh, but this is definitely a great reference. I'm gonna save it. And put it on my reference uh, playlist. If I can find it. Come on, reference playlist. Show yourself. I need ya. I need ya. I'm blind, I can't see it. I am so blind right now. Can you guys see it? Can you guys see the reference playlist? That's animation reference, but yeah, I can save it on the animation reference as well. Wait, maybe it's in animation reference. Hmm. Animation reference. Animation. Oh crap, my eye can't see anything right now. Ah, there it is. Oh, I do have the cockroach reference here. Uh, eight amazing robot animals you need to see. Why did I save that as a reference? That's weird. Hmm. 
No, we're on looking at references. Foot bat on the ground. Ooh, this one is probably the perfect. Ads. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Ads. Unskippable. Fruit bat here. He's actually a marsupial. He's on the ground. He's uh. I don't know if there's something wrong with him. I'm not actually going to touch him because they do carry viruses. See, it's always like that. They carry viruses. But then again, it's always advisable when you did you do see a bat. It's really advisable for you to not touch it with your bare hands. That's why you need to like put a cloth over it first and then gently like pick it up. Because they advise if you do see a bat on the wild, you should not touch it with your bare hands because yeah. Yeah, that's, the risk that's of the seas over here. It's also more over here. They, that's how. That's how. That's how. That's the usual advice for everywhere, right? Yeah, but the, also the other reason is well, for here anyways. You touch a bat with your bare hands, and you're not authorized to do so. They have to euthanize it. Oh, because does it get like why? I mean, why? I have no idea. It's just how it is here. <laughs> Damn, you the youth. If you're not authorized to touch a bat and you touch it with your bare hands, they got euthanize it. Maybe because bats can, like, <laughs> get your disease or something. Man, that's know. that's Just pretty not. intense, man. <laughs> yeah, this is pretty this much... Way. This is kind of <laughs> showing you guys my, my plan for the bat. This guy right here. And I'm going to tell you guys why soon. Uh, transferable to humans. I'm still looking but, for But yeah, that one. the bat that I'm planning to design is kind of close to how this guy looks. I just want to see how they look when they crawl on the ground, which kind of is what uh, this video is showing right here. Because that's going to... Tell you what, here's what I'm going to do. Oh, lowest price, really? I can see, I can hear that. <laughs> Why are you watching? <laughs> is that ads for you guys? <laughs> is that yeah, how ads... <laughs> is that how ads look for you guys? <laughs> we have, like, different ads, of course. Because oh, our ads funny. are more local. And your ad should be more local to you. Yeah, I don't know where that came from. It's just, I literally opened up YouTube and that just started playing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let me just I'm gonna have to put this on the other screen here because I do need this for reference and I guess I'm gonna use that And then we are just gonna go and look at a point here in the video You guys can really see excuse me. Oh boy Because I am going to do a top view of a bat just to like just so we can explore like how like I'm going to be like dividing the bat into parts because this is going to be a bat that I can easily customize and produce more bats so there's going to be parts of the bat that will be like detached so that it can easily be replaced by something else like like their noses or everything else you'll see soon enough Mm. Because bats don't exactly have the same noses, even ears, right? Or did they? Did they... Different ears too. Yeah, different ears too. So I want to be able to mm, create bats. Yeah, I can't find with it. I think variety. I think it, I had that in like the three artwork. We don't have that anymore. I do have that. I just archived it. You can't see it. No, nah, I can't see it. I, I thought the moderators, moderators would be able to see it. That's probably why I can't see it or find it because I nice. <laughs> can't see the archive. Wait, wait, wait. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give the moderators access. The only thing I can see is clap chat. <laughs> Call of guards view channel. There you go. I think you can do it now. Hey. Can you see it? Archives. Can you see the archives? Yeah, I can see it now. There you go. Okay, modular bat. <laughs> yeah, modular bat. That means you can...
change it, right? Welcome to the stream, by the way, Kamaku. Let me just draw, uh, like, a rough shape here. Of course, the body, pretty much all bats have the same body structure. So that's probably one of the things that would stay. Except, of course, I'm going to make it so that I can customize it to be uh, either, like, have certain parts that are bigger. Like, maybe, uh, uh, like, the shoulder parts will be, you can probably adjust it to kind of, like, because I'm trying to figure out how would you, like, change, like, the fitness of a bat. Like, you can customize how fit a bat is. So there's like a muscular looking bat. There's a skinny bat. The one that's been to McDonald's for two. <laughs> and there's a fat bat. <laughs> All sorts of, uh, yeah, just, just being, being able to customize it so I can make uh, different bat characters easily without having to remodel everything. Because uh, the project, the Underland project, the uh, for episode two, I'll be needing a bunch of bats. So I will, I will, in in order to speed up the process of modeling bats, I need the bat anatomy that I'm probably aiming for here is not exactly like accurate, tend to the biologically, I guess, to the biology of the bat. This is more going to be stylized for you know animation, and because these are mutated bats, since they are going to be like. Giant bats. Uh, yeah, I'm going to defy some s biological rules here. <laughs> and, and yeah, go for something more stylized. But of course, we still need to follow like uh, the basic like anatomy of a bat just to make them look natural and not like off. We're not going to be off too much with how they actually like how you know how they actually look i'm pretty sure i collected other bat reference here references here from the previous uh endeavors i'm gonna go back to the underland project pictures Ooh. Current. Ooh, i found the render i did <laughs> ah there it is i have yeah there we go i have bat References here, scared flyer, that I collected even before. Oh boy, now we have to arrange all this. <laughs> yeah, found the video. It's not like it doesn't like move that much. I would just send it. Near the um, I'd. Okay, there we go. We can actually see a bat anatomy here. <clears throat> Whoa, that bat's definitely been to McDonald's. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> I actually collected some pretty good bat references here. I forgot about them. Uh, this one is probably the one that we're going to be looking at more. Okay, I have to make this always on top. And then we're going to do this. So yeah, I'm going to go for the pot for like, this is just me drawing parts of a bat without their fur. For now. Oh, crap. What was that? I need to erase. I'm just going to keep going here. Let's see uh, Scared Flyer's video. What is this video? Oh, yeah. The video that you... Let me download that. This yeah, one. Question. <laughs> well, actually, I can wait until after the stream. Never mind. Oh, it's not even connected to the bats. <laughs> I mean, if it's connected <laughs> to the bats. Yeah, this one. No, it's not. No, it's not connected to the bats. It's something for your server. <laughs> of course. You can just chat it on suggestion box or something. <laughs> I do have a suggestion chat. Oh, that you can use. I, I'm too blind to see it. <laughs> uh, no, you can't. But yes, you can as well. <laughs> I'm actually using a different uh, program right now, Kamaku. This is, uh, uh, you know, this is uh, Pure Ref. It's called Pure Ref. Pure Reference. Yeah. 
Man, I had that moment where I went upstairs, I didn't know what I wanted to do, went back downstairs, and then finally figured out what I wanted to do upstairs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a bunch of people do have those moments. <laughs> Mostly ADHD. Right? What? Sorry, I couldn't hear you. <laughs> Mostly people with ADHD. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Which is, uh, kind of have, I think. So the bat actually, the bat's hand is actually its entire wing. It's just, it's like a web hand. And the webs, of course, are the wings. So if you look at the bat's wings, it looks like a giant hand. <laughs> like a gigantic hand for the bat, for like a creature. Because you have like, as you can see, and then they can also like, yeah, it's, it, looks, it looks like a hand. I think this is what, you mean scared flyer about stuff being connected because the wing is connected to the leg as well which is connected to the you know this wing connects the arm and the body and the leg and the tail mm -hmm. yeah, that's but that's micro bats fruit bat wings are a little different oh micro bats what do you mean what makes makes them different they kind of looks it's kind of the same idea for well, every bat, though. Sort of, but fruit bats don't have, like, the this, tail wing. This one? <laughs> yeah, but it still connects to everything. Yeah, so we can probably just like add a slider to, like, either make the way, the like the tail long or short. That's <laughs> probably going to be a thing that we can add. Yeah, definitely. We can definitely do that for the uh, bat that we're going to be modeling here. It accepted to Hogwarts. I haven't even pressed play yet. <laughs> what? What? Are you talking about Hogwarts right now? You're not allowed to talk about no. Hogwarts right now. <laughs> You're not allowed to mention anything about that game. You're going to make a, You're going to make a lot of people jealous. books <laughs> still unacceptable <laughs> no, i'll go back to destiny 2 destiny 2 lies you just mask your buying of this of, of hogwarts to a destiny 2 dlc so if you say destiny 2 it's understandable that you actually meant hogwarts legacy but that's illegal to say you just said it mj for you, not for everyone for, else. Not for everyone for else me. who doesn't have the game. Only for those who have the game. Only for those rich people who can just waste waste seventy dollars on the DLC. Oh wait, I wish I could just waste money like that. <laughs> wait, you just, well, you didn't really waste it if you, you used the money to buy Hogwarts DLC. I mean Hogwarts okay. <laughs> Hogwarts Legacy. Yeah, I had to earn that money. <laughs> yeah, and it all went to Hogwarts Legacy. Congratulations. <laughs> so yeah, the thing so about the bats that I want to do, Scared Flyer, for uh, the Underland Project, to kind of give them uh, like their own kind of personality and also for you to be able to distinguish each bat, is I want to give them a collar. A fur collar. Like how you can like customize your palicos for Monster Hunter World. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, and you can customize the fur, the this fur color as well. Make it look. There's going to be like a variety. It's a neon. It's going it's going to be a variety of colors. No, no, not color. Color, not color, as in the red, blue, or color, as in you know the one on your neck. When mm. for like a dress. Fur color. I see, I see, yeah. I see. Yeah, you can actually, so, <laughs> if you want, Ishii, you can make a pink bat. A neon bat. <laughs> because, yeah, <laughs> one of the things that I want to be able to do here is, uh, for, is for, like, TUC fans to be able to use this bat model to bring to life their bat OC if they have some. Gamer bat. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, collars. That collar, not 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 collar. <laughs> you know what? Pronouncing it is ridiculous. Yeah, like a lion's mane, something like that, like like a lion's mane. Yeah, but I know what I know what you mean. <laughs> no, no, I'm talking Try to the people on here. chat. Okay. Wait, did you Don't actually care. know what I meant before? Yeah, of course. Nah, I don't believe it. Don't believe it. Look how I kind of... Actually, not really. So that's pretty much mm. it for like... It's because we're looking at the top view here. I don't really like drawing top view. I want to be able to draw them. Uh, I'm going to go and take a snapshot of this video that you sent. Scared flyer. Snapchat. Wait. <laughs> Screenshot. Ooh, I better be able to recreate Thatcher, bro. I'm just kidding. Well, we shall see. We shall see. Thyla. I'm just kidding. Oh, I'm boy. That's actually it. really small. Yeah, I don't, don't ask me why the Thyla. Thyla! <laughs> there you go again you know with the don't, mispronunciation don't. of no. of the name. No, no, no. No, it's the alternate Thyla, you know, not the actual, you know. <laughs> no, 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 excuses. Oh, I'm gonna no, go I'm scope not. mode here and change your transparency. I want to make it more dark. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna darken the transparency there, make this more opaque. So I'm just gonna draw, of course, just the other side here, just for reference. And then I'm gonna try drawing uh, this. Mamar Regilia. <laughs> Mamar. <laughs> of course. Mamar. Nah, I guess basic shapes first. Whoa, it's a circle. I can't believe it. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. It's so unbelievable, isn't it? Oh, I'm probably making all your viewers leave. <laughs> uh, this is actually a bat from Ark Ishi. You know, like Batilda. Remember Batilda? The bat from Ark. So this is just a picture of that bat of those. Picture the whole video. <laughs> oh yeah, it's a right now. It's just a picture. Picture, okay. <laughs> Yeah, very good at getting models from games. <laughs> we can probably start with a base model today, actually, maybe. But I really want to focus on the design for now. I also want to decide right now how much variety of nose we're going to... I kind of want to limit it to just three kinds of nose noses, or probably just two types, right? The snow fox nose and the, the other nose, which is like this one. I'm Snow Fox. Yeah. I mean, Snow, Snow Fox. Fox. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the. the uh, let me just zoom in. This kind of nose that looks like a mouse or, or a dog or a puppy, I guess. <laughs> this type of nose and. Wait. That nose. Nah, I want, I want the big leaf looking nose that I sent. <laughs> oh, you can probably just make. Wait, where is that again? Let me just go and get that as well. I love, I love, you know I like frog leaf noses all the time. Frog leaf? You call it frog leaf? What? Save that. Oh, is that what I named the file? <laughs> no, 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 you, you just said it. I didn't say frog, what did you hear me what say? Did you say what, did, what did you say again? The nose? What kind is of it? nose? What do you call this kind of nose? I call it leaf. Leaf nose? Oh wow, that's tiny. It is. Leaf nose, bro. What are you doing there? Call that product decision. I mean, look at the nose here. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how to describe that one. <laughs> I'm not even gonna try to model that kind of nose. <laughs> I don't care about that nose. But it looks like this nose. <laughs> It's kind of like this nose, but with a wider leaf right here. I'm trying to determine how we can simplify it so that 
you can get a bunch of variety of noses but this is just one type of nose because there's not much complicated stuff on it happening and this is another kind of nose which is what the bats are popular this is like the more scary if, if you want to make a scary bat you give them that kind of nose doesn't look that scary what because <laughs> me, no 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 this this you know the kind of nose that you want the leaf nose the leaf nose aren't scary well that one is but <laughs> of course it is i mean if you see something like this hovering over you what will you do boop <laughs> you are gonna... not gonna be very happy <laughs> most of this even have that kind of nose and this one has I mean, the bat noses yeah, are what, really gonna be. Difficult. What would you even call that? Like a horseshoe nose? Like, no, yeah. See, even that one does leaf nose. Yeah, even the bat has a leaf. I mean, the arc bats have leaf nose. See, they are the leaf Tell nose. Tell you what, are the most we're popular. probably gonna go for something like this for the leaf nose, leaf nose design, and then we're gonna probably, or we can we can probably just have one nose design, and then it will just deform from this to a leaf nose we're using yeah, a slider like how that look <laughs> using a slider it's using like the middle <laughs> the white bat where's the white bat this bat i'm so confused okay then so I two types of noses. Wait, I'm just gonna use this as a reference. Snub nose bat. Oh, that one there, those those two we saw. Yeah, I'm not too informed on the noses of all things, but. <laughs> There you go. So apparently this kind of acts like a feet of some kind. Or maybe we can also do it like that. Yeah, I'm really just drawing more... I'm just really drawing inspiration from the arc bats, but not entirely. Because we do want to be able to connect the bat, the bat wing and also the, uh, the leg part. Which means and the bat... And them like Legos. Our bat would be more like this one right here. It's kind of getting, it's kind of, it's becoming really challenging. Uh, aligning. Which one is she? <laughs> Can't wait to see the chicken wings. <laughs> You won't be able to see anything. So they really won't be sitting down like this, mostly. They're more uh, cr always uh, not crouching, but uh, how do you change? You can't change. <laughs> They're just always old. They need their walking stick. <laughs> They're more going. They're more on the crawling part. But yeah, I guess I'm not gonna go and draw that sitting down there. We're gonna take so much time to trying to make that look right. <laughs> I'm gonna stick with this. So once again, we're gonna be drawing. I'm just gonna go write something here. Let's go and use um ink pen for this. Make that bigger as well. Customizable. Customizable color, and then what are the what are the different types of ears for the bats? Mm -hmm. Have you observed scared flyer? Because right now it's pretty much the same here, the same, or maybe yeah, this guy has a different kind of ear. For the uh, this is like a fo the fox ones, right? Yeah, those are the flying fox ears. So we have probably two types of ears as well. 
something that don't forget the long-eared bat yeah 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 the one that is uh right here <laughs> but then again this could just be uh yeah these this kind of ear right here that can be folded right mm -hmm. so the long ear bat that's one type of ear there's also yeah, it's pretty much just the same as this but like stretched out <laughs> So we can probably have like one ear, but the size of it can be like, you know, changed. It can either be very small or very big. Just one ear, but you can resize it. So that's probably going to be a thing. Just have to... F this ear right here, look at this. The ear kind of goes towards the face here. Which kind of makes it look like it's an eyebrow as well. <laughs> Which is something that we can actually add. This is something that we can oh do. Boy, that. We can do for the design of the bat. Their ears is also the eyebrow. That that view weird. <laughs> because they look. Yeah, look at this. It looks pretty cool looking at this. Like this. Especially when it happens, when they fold their ears, as you can see. Their ears is, can be like a part of their personality. Like it moves depending on their mood. You know? <laughs> that could be a nice idea for like Underland bats. Yeah. That could also help like also show their emotions. Since, you know, they're gonna have black, like pure black eyes. You know, there's no pupil or anything. There's no white parts on the eye, just pure black. Except if you look at this guy. <laughs> he, there yeah, seem to be eyes. there seem to be like this white part here, but I'm pretty sure that's just part of the eyelid. No, that's not part of the eyelid. Or that's really the eye and they just have really big irises. Yeah, they have like really big irises that usually cover the eye unless they're like looking in a specific direction and then you can kind of see the white. But some of these guys look at that. It's just black. <laughs> And to make it really simple for us, we're actually going to be doing something like this. It's more mostly black. It's going to range. It's just going to be dark colors, of course, ranging from black to brown. Or you can change it to any color, but the shade will be still dark. And then there's going to be the pupil part that's going to be barely visible. Just like, uh, you know, this one right here. It, they do have a pupil. This guy looks ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> yeah, this bat looks like a Tarshir. This one as well, this bat kind of looks like a Tarshir. But yeah, uh, we got to list down all this stuff because we're getting some ideas here. We are going to be applying this all later when we are going to be modeling the bats. That's why we are going to spend some time really, really exploring different like ideas for the design of the bat. So nose, nose type, uh, fox nose, I guess, fox nose and leaf nose. And then ear, ears are also eyebrows. I kind of want to explore this idea because, uh, you know, th to make our bats unique, it's not something that has been done yet. Eyes are also eyebrows. Oh, yeah, the eyes are the eyebrows. <laughs> helping with emo, helping, <laughs> help. No, that'd be funny. <laughs> to show emotion. I do hope I'd still be able to understand my handwriting later when I look at this again. <laughs> so, yeah, there we go. Customizable color. Tail. Can be resized. Also, the wingspan. 
the, the biggest wings in the universe. A resizable <laughs> wing. Ah, oh, but that's gonna be difficult, isn't it? Uh, it's gonna be difficult to figure out, especially when. Ah, uh, but then. <clears throat> hmm. I'm not gonna worry about it for now, I guess. Yeah, they'll have a resizable wing. A uh, tail can be resized. Tail wing can change shape depending on the size. Tail wing shape. Tail wing. Because as you can see, if you look at the references, if you look at the bats here. They kind of have like different tail design. A tail like the tail wing part. And that thing seems to be connected to something there. Others have that kind of... Others have this kind of wing. With, and, oh, and apparently there's also like a part of their feet controlling the wing here. Like one of their toes or something. Mm, that's not something that you oh. see, see. Is that a bone or mm. is... Or is that really... I don't know, I've never... Yeah, not it's really kind of here as well. Hmm, that's the last time I've seen before. Yeah. Then I don't really look at micro bats. <laughs> Just see some things, do you? What do you what, what when you say micro bats? What do you mean? Like that's just what we call the adult, really tiny bats. <laughs> ah, okay. But aren't all bats tiny except for the fox ones? Yeah, fox bats are like mega bats. <laughs> are there other kinds of bats or? There's the Egyptian flying uh, bat, and they're the size. Of, they're like mm. the size of the fox bats as well. Mm, I think they're a little smaller. Okay, but bigger, definitely bigger than the smaller ones, the, like the really small ones. Yeah, it's. I'm just looking at things here because I'm trying to check whether or not that bone on their feet is a thing. Because we can just skip that part. This the 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 arc bats are definitely not the same as the bats, but we are we want to go more. We're gonna be leaning more into the like uh, how the usual bat anatomy is, where the wing is connected to the feet, uh, the legs, and the arms, because uh, the arc bat doesn't. It's not like that. Yeah. Okay, Ishi. Hmm. Oh, yeah. This one is actually a nice reference for like how things are looking. That bat be looking buff. <laughs> yeah, that is a muscular <laughs> bat right there. So uh, this is probably the most spread out wing that we have here, or of course that one as well. But this one seems to have a clearer like view of what I meant, what I said before, where it. Their, their wing is kind of like a huge hand. So you can see the fingers, the hand. And it's just a webbed hand with the wing being the one that's webbing. Yeah, you can also notice that their arms, they, they're never fully stretched out. Like there's always a bend to them. Oh, yeah. Even when the wing is yeah, fully open. Yeah, because you can see the membrane stretched out. and it's, There's always a little bend to their arms. Yeah, when they're yeah. Flying. <laughs> We gotta remember like this spot as well here above the arm. The arm, it, you know, I'm pretty sure I've been drawing my bats where the arm. Yeah, as you can see, I did it right, right here as well. Where there's no like this, like the wing. That can also be a choice that we can probably do just to save us trouble. Oh, oh I'm gonna <laughs> click start game. I'm just kidding. <laughs> You're still on the... Are you still on the invitation menu? <laughs> what? No, no, no. I'm at Destiny 2 right now. Uh, menu. Nah, I don't. I don't believe it. You are on in Hogwarts right now. No, I'm not. You're definitely in Hogwarts right now. Okay, so this is our this is our tail wing. Uh.
tail wing customizable, I guess. Different shape, different shape. Uh, what else can we do? And I guess I'm gonna go and also point body. Body! Body types. Uh, customizable body type. A custom body type. There you go. Hmm. So I guess we have enough information here to take into account when we are modeling our bat. I can probably go into detail about the face as well. The face will have a default like base face. Default. <laughs> for all the bats. And what will that be? And it's a face that doesn't have a nose, because the nose will be interchanged a lot. No nose? Oh no. But how do we do that? To, that we can do it, that it looks seamless. I'm pretty sure the fur is going to help us cover things up a lot here. Perhaps. I'm There's gonna- get fur on the noses, though. Yeah. That's why uh, I'm not very sure about it. But this is the kind of head that I kind of want to be able to work around so that we know. I really want to take time doing this because bats are pretty complicated. And I want to be able to add a bunch of customizable stuff about the bats so we can have many yeah, different they're... looking bats. Yeah, they're not that hard. I do them all the time. <laughs> right, right, right. I kind of have like my own design that has like a mix of everything. <laughs> right. Wait, I want to see this. So you can see the ear is right here and then when it folds like that. I'm giving myself, I could like be lazy and just go with a, the usual bat design. But I really want to be able to add something unique to our bats. So I got to figure out how I'm going to be dividing the face. So that we can customize things properly. Oh, oh man. Hmm. This one has a leaf nose. I'm probably going to go with the more like this kind of mouth. Because all bats... I mean, what is this part? What is this scared flyer? That's like their oh, no. chin, right? That's how their chin yeah. looks like. Oh, <laughs> well, for that bat. Anyways. But this bats don't have that kind of chin. I'm pretty sure the arc bat also have that kind of detail on them. As you can see, there's like a like bumpiness on the because I look at the bat. I've been playing arc, and I we, you can actually really see this bat. And you will notice that it kind of also have that kind of like chin that this guy has. They do have that. But I'm probably going to go and skip that. <laughs> and not add that and just make their the bat mouths look like this more. Yeah, I just, all I see is just how bad my modeling is. I mean, not my, my posing is. <laughs> what do you mean? Uh, I, can, I certainly can do better. Posing? Yeah, for that one render that you're using. So maybe something like this for the mouth. Looks like a duck. <laughs> Look, I'm just adding I'm a divide sorry. here because I get so that I can... I know, it's not, I just... <laughs> I'm just really <laughs> trying... Just funny. I'm just trying to figure out how to do this. Bat fangs. Do their fangs... Can they close their mouth without their fangs being visible or... There's actually a visible fang. Uh, they can close their mouth and hide the fangs. 
Because we can we need doesn't it, as far as I know, I haven't seen a bat that has their fangs sticking out. Trying to figure this out because we're gonna be like more you know figuring out the apology here real soon. How about this bat? Let's see, let's see. So that one probably make the snout shorter. Be right back, I'm I gotta do something real quick. Okay. And then we can change the nose to either a fox nose or a leaf nose. This is the ear, and then the eye will be somewhere right here. Probably make the snout even closer to the face. Then we can change the nose, emphasize the the size of the nose and then the, that I really want to be able to do that eyebrow bat ear action because we can use that as a as a way to add more character to the bats it can be resized and stuff Make them kind of weird, but also still look like a bat. Make it their eyebrows that shows their emotion. Then, of course, the neck goes like this, and then it's going to be covered with a fur collar. something like this I don't want to make it too complicated because we're gonna be having a hard time modeling this if we make it too complicated so I'm gonna go with some pretty basic ear design that can be resized and you know look be made something that looks I am back <laughs> Oh man. <laughs> yeah, really just exploring how we can make this bat. Bro, that bat looks like it's gonna pull out a gun and ask for my wallet. <laughs> yeah, the bat looks angry. <laughs> really? Well, how did I manage to do that? Bro, how did I manage to tangle my phone in the chair? <laughs> I don't know what. How would you tangle a phone on a chair? <laughs> I don't know. It's something I'm good at doing. Okay, there you go. And of course, customizable color. Neon, neon. I'm just kidding. You're gonna make your bet neon. You figure out how to do that. I'm not doing that. See, so yeah, I guess we're going to have to figure out. Okay, so I'm gonna do this and duplicate this. Make another one here. And make this one have a, a leaf nose. Now let's see the references we can that we have here too. Probably gonna gonna not really copy, but make reference to this kind of nose here. The leaf nose. That's our. Those are the only ones that you can customize for a bat. All right. Fine, fine. <laughs> so that's a leaf nose bat. 
This is a fox nose bat. Something like that. <laughs> How to go broke in the underlist. <laughs> by Harry by Hogwarts Legacy. Getting robbed. <laughs> by Hogwarts Legacy, definitely. I didn't send anything in games chat. Oh boy. He sent something on games chat. So you can you can resize the ear, but the ear should still be connected, sorta, to the eye. Uh, figuring out the typology of that is gonna be fun, mates. No, 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 no. Okay, let me just scale this down. Okay, there you go. Yep, those players are definitely gonna rob me. <laughs> <laughs> no, they won't. <laughs> gonna put that there so this is really just conceptualizing stuff ears no type hey there nasa roblo welcome been a while i'm designing Ooh. the bats for the underland project So they have two types of noses that you can add customizable color. Hey there, Nasser. So yeah, uh, what else? What Ooh. else? Ooh. What else? What else? We gotta stop your day with stream, man. It's very contagious. <laughs> well, part of the plan. Okay. So yeah, uh, we designed the bats. The bats have been designed, I think. <laughs> yeah, 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 it's been a while, Nasser. It's just because I have been streaming on Billy Billy. <laughs> the platform, different platform. But now I'm going to be streaming here as well so that, you know, I can still keep adding more contents here. Especially when working with the Underland project. Oh, you two have been busy. Also been away. I've also been busy. Right. I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't know about that. Okay, so the wing ship wingspan should be customizable, of course, so that it's obvious that, of course, Ares will have a wider wingspan than most bats. And probably bigger as well, most definitely bigger. Since he's considered to be one of the biggest the bigger bats or the strongest bats. Is he considered to be a um, I, I kinda forgot whether they mentioned him being bigger? Or probably looks bigger because of the wingspan, or is just stronger. But then again, there are other bats that are, like, bigger than him. I'm guessing Ares would be the same, probably not the same age as Gregor. I'm not even, I'm pretty sure it wasn't revealed what, how old they are. But I'm pretty sure the fandom also kind of just decided something Into about In the 90s. About their age. <laughs> Right. Nine years old, man. <laughs> so yeah, I guess that's what I'm gonna do for the design right here. If you didn't um, know Gregor's actually Kratos. I'm actually going to go and just use the color here. Right. Right. 
I'm gonna use this to kind of give... Pretty sure we have a marker here. Marker! The marker. Scared flyer. The marker. Neon bat. Neon. Wait, 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 wait. We're supposed to put this on fills. Okay, so we have to have a base face. Which is indicated by the head. I'm also going to do this for with this one right here. It's actually Scared Flyer. Scared Flyer. I'm joined by Scared Flyer here. Nasser. He, he's the voice of Ares. For my... Uh, for the Underland Project animations. Have you watched like the Ares animation? He's the one who voiced it. No, I'd have to tell him that. They have to know. Who's the great Ares? <laughs> now my identity shall be a secret forever. No, it won't. It shall be revealed. So I'm just gonna add this here because this indicates like what are the parts that are like just one mesh connected together. <clears throat> Yeah. Isn't isn't he perfect? I'm trying to gonna get gonna get robbed. <laughs> um, I'm I'm just copying how Rip Red introduced Twitch Step to everyone. Uh, you haven't what? So yeah, I'm just gonna go color the parts that will be just the head, like the base parts. They're gonna be connected together. They're not gonna be that much customization available for it. And this is just a part that is the head. That's the head. And then the nose is going to go like that for the nose. Oh, you haven't watched? You haven't watched it? The animations? Yeah, go watch it. Watch it, Nasser. Yeah, it's it, because the stream is late. I'm pretty sure I set it to like not low latency, normal latency, I think. Okay, so that's the nose. I don't know. I'm just I'm just color coding parts of our bat here, so that we know. Which ones we we model separately, and which ones we model together, or like they're kind of that like the connected parts is what I meant. So this is the ear, which can be resized. There's a huge possibility that the ear will be connected, but probably won't, because. I think it would be easier to resize it if it's not connected to the main, to the, to the face, or to the head. Macbeth! So there you go. Just gonna do something like this. And yeah. 
So the ear kind of separate. Just putting this guys right there. And then the collar. The collar. 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 <laughs> Fur collar. Probably not going to be using that collar because I don't think that collar is great. So the collar. It's probably easier to use a. Oh well. So I'm just gonna do something like this. So this is the collar. Neon. Nice. <laughs> oh, wait, neon has different colors, right? I know. I just thought that be looking like McDonald's. <laughs> 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 it is kind of looking like McDonald's. That's why. That's why NASA said McBat. <laughs> oh, you didn't realize? Oh my God! <laughs> okay, so there the collar for McBat. I'm just separating each of the parts that I'm gonna be modeling well separately, or they're not gonna be connected parts because. So these parts are gonna be like customized, customizable. So the body, this part. So, hmm, maybe I'm not gonna, maybe it should be connected, but just detachable. I'm not det detached. <laughs> hmm, maybe I should, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna connect the tail model to the body as well including all of like the legs <laughs> this is a, this is actually not their actual color by the way <laughs> i'm just color coding it so that it's clearly visible which parts nah, this is, which parts this is are connected no nah, this is the real no color, no no the, no it's not the color really depends on whoever it is that's going to create the bat because this is a, a customizable bat again i mean again this is like a bat creator and you guys can open up the project file and make bats of your own so i'm going to be giving it away for free or you know you can always uh, add some hero to the zeros when you do download the files that would be greatly appreciated extremely helpful so there you go and then the wings Probably not gonna color the wings because that is just too much coloring that needs to be done right there. Too much coloring that needs to be done right there. I'm just gonna add an outline. So there you go. So I'm just color coding that. Yeah, that's pretty much what our design is going to be for the bats. What do you think, Scared Flyer? What do you think is lacking? Hmm, not sure. Honestly. This pretty much covers everything, right? Yeah, pretty much. So the plan is... The head will be kind of a yeah it's probably connected to the body as well and then there's going to be like a separate like emitter for the collar to make so that we can customize it yeah yeah the wing actually connects the tail and to the leg and i can actually show a video of that of this of a bat walking right here that shows that this is a great animation reference.
Now you're like trying to <laughs> do that. I'm just looking at it. I want to observe the motion. Because that really looks interesting. I mean, if you're going to animate it, it's going to be really challenging. But that really shows you how you should be positioning things on a bat. So that when you rig it, when you model it, then you do it so that it's simpler to, well, do a, add some rig and then animate it like this. What The great challenge for this is that is the wing. Because, as you can see, the wing, we can't be using physics for the wing. I need to be able to figure out a rig that will make it easy to deform the wings like this. Despite the fact that the wing is connected to other parts like the arms and the legs. Being bad is so that what? <laughs> Thing is, the bat needs to like it needs to be clear, especially since it's clear in the book. Yeah, it's not gonna be fun, but these guys. Ah, here you go, scared flyer, mega bat sneezing. <laughs> oh. That is a big bat, isn't it? it it's sleeping. <laughs> no, yeah, that's how they sleep, bro. <laughs> I mean, can, can, how do you rig this? I sneezed. A very smelly scared flyer. Yeah. <laughs> That's a lot of sneezes. Oh, I gotta save this as a reference. Oh, I can't save it as a reference. No! Why do you, why do you want that as a reference? <laughs> I need this uh, an animation reference for a sneezing bat. And sleeping. <laughs> and sleeping, yeah. Because this, how do you rig it so that you can wrap around like that? Oh boy. This is gonna be the part that's gonna be. We're gonna probably be repeating. A, whoa. It's really sneezing, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it's like my dog sneezing. I mean, look at that. This claw that they have right here. Look how it hides, it coils inside as well it's just straight though yeah, sometimes uh, that you don't really see is how their wings kind of like fold yeah it folds but like not like that way like, like towards each other right like the, when these no. two like when they're kind of like neutral to the sides their wings do fold like, it's really hard. It's kind of hard to explain without showing up. Like a fan? Like a fan? You know, the fan that you can extend? Oh, let me see if I can find one. Yeah. This bat is a pet, though. It looks like they're, it's their pet. Hmm. Might be a zoo, I don't know. Because it's just... It feels so comfortable just sleeping there when uh, there are other humans around. Um, hey, look, there's a bat in slow motion. This is probably a good flying reference. <laughs> look at that. Oh, that's that's some. Um, I'm gonna save that. I am saving that. Video doesn't even finish or even. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I just, just the fact that it's a slow motion is already worth a save. Because you can see how the wings fold. How about this other one? I'm just gonna save it right away. I don't want to end up losing this. Look, look at the bat, it's smiling. <laughs> <laughs> I 
That was funny. Look how the wing looks like a hand. Oh, that is beautiful. I would need that reference. This guy has a bunch of bat in slow motion videos. Is this, this one forward? I am saving this. It's gonna take two years for that bat to extend the wings. <laughs> yeah. You see, this is a very nice reference. Look at, just look, just be, being able to see how the wings like come from like folded to extended. Yeah. So this is something that we're gonna have to figure out. How are we gonna rig that? Okay, they start flapping their wings to launch themselves, of course, before they let go. <laughs> and just fly. And the wings, the motion of the wings is, there's definitely like, like even in animation, there's always arcing happening with the motion. It's not just a straight line. The wing, like, goes on like a circular motion. Yeah. <laughs> okay, there's. Well, okay, let's open up Cranbrook Science here. Never mind. They don't have that much bats. Okay, how about this one? <laughs> no, not that one. That's not a bat. That's an ad. <laughs> I'm saving this. This is a. Oh, you can imagine right here, right here. It's like, it's like, you can imagine like someone falling, and then this is them stopping to save the one falling, and then going up. <laughs> They're drinking water. This is how they catch fish, too. I don't think those pests can. Maybe. No, no, no. When, when do, I'm talking about Underland here, Scareflyer. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's okay. going to be the animation <laughs> for when you make <laughs> the bats catch fish. <laughs> okay, let's check out other things here. Oh, it's their echolocation. Interesting. Look at oh, that. That's that. Wait, that's something that they can do. To use their back. Look at that. The How they catch the moth. They're using their tail their, or their leg part. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a net. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's very interesting to see. Oh, my phone just vibrated. Oh, it's because it just hit 15%. Alright. Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> Wait, I'm just really. We're going down the rabbit hole here now. <laughs> the oh, bat yeah. rabbit MJ, hole. Focus. But focus, yeah. MJ, we have um, <laughs> I guess for the basic, like, design and look and just, you know, just adding a style to it so that it also helps like tell us the story and show emotions for the bat i think we have things covered here and also the customizability or I mean, is that a word how things yeah, can maybe. be customizable <laughs> it's also something that we have here going on and yeah i think for the design part we are done for now because the way i usually do this is i design a bit and then I model, and then I, when I after I model, I then, you know, find other things that we can be that we that can be added. So one of the 
yeah, this is definitely just the basic design and stuff. And I think we're ready to start modeling, which I'm not going to be doing right now, by the way. Nah, I got to start doing it right now. No, no. Well, I actually, you haven't even gotten, like, the... What, what, uh, what, what else can we add? I mean, you can't, I mean, like, you can't start modeling yet. You don't even have the, uh, you know, the front and side view drawn out yet. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to do that part. I think this would be enough, the, the top view. <laughs> because uh, it's not, it's not going to be followed anyway. Very handy. And yeah, we're going to be doing a bunch of tweaks when we start modeling this thing. Just the basic shape. I mean, we're definitely going to start with the head. It's just that, yeah, the customizability of it is probably going to be what's going to make it complicated. We're just going to be working on like one design of a bat. But, I mean, it, that would be, you know, easier. But since we want to be able to model this bat and then have it so that we can just add a slider to it. And then we can just customize it the way we want. So that we can have multiple looking bats for like... Because there's going to be a bunch of bats for like the team of uh, Underlanders doing, doing the game in the arena. Since Gregor will be entering the arena, there's going to be a ton of bats. We need probably about... 10 bats including Ares and and Aurora flying oh yeah how are you gonna have them tell the difference between uh, male and female like like how for humans they're either slim or not slim <laughs> uh, for the bats maybe you know the usual eyelashes are longer Eyelashes, uh, or the the call, or the like, the fur is thicker, and the, it's yeah, probably the main, the colors as well, or the mains will have like a, you know, have a. Uh, it would also tell whether they're female or not. Got a lot of ideas. Yeah, that's gonna be something that we need to figure out. But for now, I want to be able to make a bat that looks neutral. Something that we can make either male or female. And probably the one thing that would make it obvious, maybe even make the ears. Because it's really the ears that I want to try and like really, because this is, it's one of the things that's really visible for a bat, including in their noses. So maybe the ears would be able to tell us well. Maybe if, if we can find a way to make it so that when people look at our bat designs, they'll know that, that the bats with those kind of ears are female. Bats with those kind of ears are male. We can add like a stylistic thing for the ears. And the collar or the mane. And of course the body as well, I guess. Man, look at all that drawing space he still has. Look, we have a lot of drawing space. That's the best thing about Blender, is that there's no limit how much you can add here. You can go on forever. Make Unfortunately, this I do not have that privilege and, on the iPad. <laughs> and make this the most complicated concept project Two file. Two million pixels long. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, you'd have to set it to that. If you draw a bunch of stuff, you'd have to set it to a pixel that's high so that you can zoom in and still see things. But yeah, I think we're done with the design. Hello, Ishii. Welcome back. We're actually almost... Yeah, we're, I'm closing. I'm doing the closing ceremony. I'm closing ceremony. So, next stream when? Next stream would be on Thursday here on YouTube. And we're going to be resuming the bat. And... Yeah. Really. I can really tell that if, if you stream on Bilibili, you'd have more s viewers <laughs> than streaming here. That's why I like streaming there. <laughs> but yeah. <clears throat> this is it for now. This is our design. We're going to be starting the modeling on Thursday. 
but the, yeah this is the design stage of the modeling process for a bat for the underland project and we pretty much covered the basic stuff we're gonna be adding more to it later while modeling because that's what oh, i man. always do for, to make it quicker <laughs> Because Can't if I have to see the chicken phase, if, like if I have a more talented like concept artist with me right now, who can easily draw stuff, because um, of course I'm struggling to draw things. I I'm I'm, I'm not I'm not I'm avoiding drawing the side view and the other the other views because they're difficult. I can't easily do them. I usually repeat things over and over again before I get it, which is something that I don't want to do during the design stage because that's gonna take forever. So I'm just gonna go settle with the top view of a bat and yeah i don't think i'll be needing a model sheet as well because i'm going to be using the, the pictures here as reference because we do have a more complete like bat with their wing you know extended like this and that's going to be our reference plus all of the other reference that we took so i'm just going to go and save this actually put this in journey to all i don't know tup phase two Images, concept, reference, bat, references. And yeah, this is it. Ooh. I'm going to be closing the stream now. I'm not sure if I'm going to be doing the thing that I do on Billy Billy here. Where I, Which is what? Each, each time I end the stream, I sing a song. I'm not going to do it here. I'm only going to do it on Billy Billy. Huh. Of course. <laughs> I'm only going to do it there. <laughs> because here, I'm just going to end the stream right now. Thank you so much to those who stayed up to the end. Uh, thanks for the stopping by of Nasser. And also, uh, Kamaku and... Yeah, Ishii, thanks for joining us. Even though you just got back. You probably are busy and or watching someone else. Or being an admin on someone else right now, right? I don't know. But yeah, uh, I'm going to end the stream right here. We have our bat design. And on Thursday, I'm going to be resuming the, mo uh, the this one, the work on the bat, and start actually start modeling. And we'll see what's going to happen then. But for now, this is it. Thank you so much for watching. My name is MJ Vilchas. Joined by Scared Flyer. <laughs> yeah, that's all. Gotta go. Goodbye. <laughs>